What's up, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Just going to wait for everyone to join. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kristen. I'm a mindset and confidence coach, soul purpose activator, intuitive business guide, all that good stuff. If it's your first time joining me or like meeting me, then welcome. I love going live with you guys. It just is like such a beautiful connection that we get to create. Um, but let me know where you're joining from. Let me know if it's your first time or you come often. I'm so excited to be here with you. I'm just going to go ahead and pin a comment. So just give me a second. Wakiki, oh my gosh. Quick guides code. That's amazing. I love Hawaii. Tell, yeah, let me know where you're joining from if you just joined. Auckland, New Zealand, India, first time from South Africa. Okay, guys, today we're going to um, be, pin comment, all right. Today we're going to be talking about the energy of cringe because if you want to be seen on social media, which I'm guessing so many of you do, if you want to live in your mission, if you want to share your voice and share your message, you absolutely have to get over being cringe. Um, and we're going to break down today the energetics of cringe and what is actually going on in people's minds when they call you cringe. Because when you understand the energetics more and better, it's not going to affect you as much and you're going to be able to continue to show up uh, despite it to the point where you won't even care when people call you cringe. Like I actually love when people, sorry about that, the app uh, told me that I my time limit was up for today. But I actually love when people call me cringe because it shows me where they're at energetically. It shows me how small they're playing and it's a really good way to gauge like how much personal growth people have done, truthfully. So we're going to be uncovering all of that today. However, before we do, I want to let you guys know that my new eight-week group visibility accelerator is open for enrollment. It is called Scared to Scene. Today is the first official day that it's live and it's eight weeks, eight group calls, six modules, weekly social media trainings that's going to cover everything that you guys need to know on overcoming the fear of being seen, overcoming the fear of judgment. It's going to help you show up online confidently. If you're a coach or entrepreneur, we're going to be doing so many like strategy trainings to help you make content online that actually converts and gets you clients. It's like a biz times mindset times social media strategy program. I'm so, so excited for the program. There's already a couple of you guys in. Um, and yeah, so if you want more info on that, it's linked in my bio. You can sign up on your own. Or if you want to like talk to me first, then you can just DM me scene after this and I'll give you the rundown. We'll chat in the DMs and see if you're a good fit and I'll give you all the details. So also in these lives, they're really chill. Feel free to ask any questions that you guys want. Feel free to, um, yeah, just chat. But I'm going to, um, I'm going to really just unpack the idea of being cringe. So I feel like the number one people reason people don't want to show up on social media is because they're scared of looking dumb or cringe or they don't want people to judge them, right? But what they don't understand is that nobody who is also doing the same thing is going to be judging them. The thing that I mean is that when people are judging you, they're really judging themselves. And I hate when people say that because they don't really explain it fully, but I'm going to explain fully what I mean by that. When people judge you, okay, so let's say I'm making an Instagram story or I'm going live like I am right now. I might know someone who knows me personally and they might look at me and go, what is Kristen doing? She looks so cringe going live on her story or on her Instagram. What the heck is she doing? That person is never going to be someone who is also comfortable going live on their stories. The only people that are going to judge you for doing something are the people that are not comfortable doing that thing themselves, right? So if you look at, let's say I'm making a story and I'm talking into my, my phone camera. 
None of my friends that are also talking into their phone camera and making amazing stories and sharing their gifts with the world are going to be judging me. The only people that are going to be judging me are going to be the people that are not comfortable doing that themselves. So what's happening energetically when people call you cringe is they see you basically exemplifying a trait that they are not comfortable expressing in themselves. So instead of looking internally and saying, why does this make me uncomfortable? They're seeing you express it and saying, well, why is she getting love for it? I wouldn't love myself if I did that. Therefore, they spit judgment at you, right? They're basically judging you because they would judge themselves if they were doing that thing. And therefore, they're not comfortable doing it. So the reason I said when you're cringe, you're free is because when you no longer care what other people think of you, then you're not wearing a mask, right? If I'm constantly walking around the world being like, I am so worried about what everyone is thinking of me. Think about it. I can't show up as myself because I'm constantly trying to control other people's reactions. However, if I'm someone who can genuinely say, okay, I'm just going to be myself. I'm going to be cringe. I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to, you know, be my most expressed self. Now I am truly free. I am my true authentic self because I'm not trying to control my rea- your reaction of me. But if I'm here trying to make sure that everyone loves me and everyone you know, thinks I'm cool and everyone thinks I'm pretty and I'm trying to control all these factors, how would I be able to show up authentically? You can't show up authentically and try to control other people's reactions of you. You can't try to please everyone and show up authentically. Right. So when I say when you're cringe, you're free. It's because when you truly are so secure within yourself, like when you're it's like it's between me and source. I know who I am. I know what I bring to the table. I know who the fuck I. Yeah, I know who the fuck I am. It's like now I am truly free to be my most expressed self. And. This takes work, right? In Scared to Seen, we're doing a lot of inner child work. We're doing a lot of shadow work. We're doing a lot of visibility work around where you were judged, where you were shamed for being your authentic self. Because when we have these fear of judgments, fear of um, being seen, it's always because somewhere in childhood, you were shamed for being your most authentic self. And so what happens is because you were shamed, your brain makes a rule, a rule in your brain that says, okay, When I am fully myself, it's not safe. People make fun of me. People judge me. People shame me. So I need to make sure that I don't show who I am. So what's not showing who you are? It's hiding. That's what it is, right? So we hide instead of show who we truly are. And hiding feels safe, right? So this is the reason and this is the biggest block for most entrepreneurs. It's really coming so... It's healing the inner child so that you can validate yourself and not need other people to validate you. We all need validation. We're human. We literally all need validation. We're, we're, we're humans. However, you can either choose to source that validation within or you have to get it elsewhere, right? So when you learn how to do this, it's like you truly become free because your opinion of yourself is no longer reliant on what other people think of you. If I only can love myself when you love me, then I'm never in control. But if I can love myself, if you love me, if you hate me, if you're going to judge me, if you're going to call me cringe, now I'm free. Now I'm just free to be myself. I'm not under any spell. I'm not trying to be someone I'm not. I'm not wearing a mask. Is this hitting guys? Give me a yes in the comments if it is. That was like the main thing. I just had this big like aha moment. I wanted to talk about being cringe because I haven't talked about it in a while. But truly being cringe is such an important part of really um, showing up and being authentic. Like if you are truly, truly on this journey of like you have a big mission in this world and you want to share your gifts and you want to share your message and you're like, I truly believe in this. There's no way around being seen. 
And to be seen, you have to fully embrace that people are not going to like you. People are going to judge you. People are going to call you cringe. People are going to be like, what the hell are you doing? And it actually has nothing to do with you. When you remember it actually has nothing to do with you, it has everything to do with their limiting beliefs and how they feel about themselves and what they would be comfortable expressing within themselves. Then you or you release them. You're like, it's okay if you don't like me. It's truly, truly, truly okay. And I'm good either way, right? So that is my little spiel. I just want to remind you if you just hopped on that Scared to See my new eight-week program is open for enrollment. It started today. There's a couple of you guys in. I'm so excited. But if you are ready to heal your visibility blocks, show up confidently, and really share your gifts on social media, and get more clients, all that stuff, then you can DM me seen. I'll give you more info. There's also a landing page linked in my bio if you want to check it out. But I, um, we're starting July 10th and I'm going to cap it at probably around 20 because I want it to be a smaller group. And it's also 50% off the normal price. So next round, which is probably going to be around August, is going to be double the price. And I always do this in my beta rounds, my first rounds. So yeah, feel free to DM me. That's just the small training I have today. It was just a short one, but all of my trainings go up on YouTube after. So there'll be two trainings up on YouTube this week. And yeah, I hope to see you guys inside. Bye.